this is Carolina and welcome to another seasonal Saturday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put this advent calendar together. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. You'll need a box frame, a piece of corkboard, and cardstock, all measuring 12 by 12. And then I went ahead and put this PDF together for you. I'm going to be using the font 14 numbers. And um, again, you can find that over on my blog. You'll also need 25 strips measuring one inch by four inches. Then I went ahead and took scissors and just went all the way around the edges to give it a little decorative trim. Then 25 brads. I'm using, um, it's kind of like a burgundy kind of wine color in just corduroy and then, you know, obviously a little brad. Then 25 Hershey Kisses. Let me bring those over. So Hershey Kisses, you know what those look like. And um, basically those three things is what's going to make this little holder, which then will go into the cork board. But we'll get to that in a second. Then you'll also need a 1 fourth inch hole punch, which is what you'll need for the numbers. And some glue and a couple of other items that I'll let you know as we go along. More, more tools than anything. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing first, let's go ahead and put our box together. So it is a shadow box. Um, you'll find those in a scrapbook area or framing area. They're pretty, pretty common now. So you just want to take the top lid off and then, oops, no, sorry. First, your cardstock. I'm using red because we're doing a Christmas tree. So I thought red might be a nice backdrop. Put your cork board behind it. And then I'm going to put the back um, on again. So basically, since it's a box frame, we'll be able to do 3D items on it. Not using the glass. It did come with the glass. I took it off because um, we want to be able to take out the candy. So anyway, so that's it. That's our frame. That's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and put it aside and work on our little holders. Okay, so these are them. And basically, this is what you'll need. Your strips. I'm just going to go ahead and do one um, and then show you how to do that. And then you'll be able to do 25. Your Brad, Hershey Kiss. And what you're going to do is put it face down so that the front is facing on the table. Then if you want to put glue there, you can. I'm not. Um, they tend to stay pretty well. And what you want to do is kind of feel your way with your fingers to the top of that Hershey Kiss. And you're going to put the Brad through the two pieces of fabric just above that Hershey Kiss so it's snug in there. And that's why I said I don't think you really need any glue. I kind of just did it. So you'll have the Brad sticking out. Do not lay down the legs. You just want them out because that's what's going to go through your cork board. Go ahead and do the rest of the 25. Once you're done, go ahead and grab that sheet. Cut out that um, piece that you're going to use. Get your one fourth punch, some glue, some tweezers, and let's start punching away. So all I'm doing is putting that first number through that and just so I turn it upside down so I can see and then just punch as I'm doing here. And then go ahead and do the rest of the 25. Let's go ahead and grab that holder again and we're going to start putting those numbers on there. And just take a little bit of liquid glue, add a little bit, um, I would say, a, you know, a little circle, just around enough to be able to put your number with your tweezers. I found it the easiest way to add these. And then just center it with your finger once you have it on there. You can kind of move it around a little bit. Now go ahead and do this 24 other times so that you end up with 25 treat holders. Let's grab your frame and start creating the tree. I used about a four inch strip of ribbon and this is just going to be the beginning, basically the trunk of the tree. And this is going to allow me to kind of just start centering it in the middle and then start placing all those treats in a semicircle as such all the way to the top. And you'll do nine, seven, five, three, and then end up with one on top. So here I'm playing around with it and I realized a couple of times I've actually done two of these uh, for friends and this is my third one I'm doing for another friend of mine and it's kind of a fun idea to do for someone who maybe doesn't have a tree, doesn't have room for a tree um, or might be allergic to a tree. I, I know a lot of people with asthma and allergies just cannot physically have trees. Maybe they don't want a fake one but this is a way for them to have one. 
um, in their house. So anyways, after <laughs> this is my third one, I realized, oh, I'm doing odd numbers. So therefore, I can kind of center the first one in the middle and then do even numbers on either side. So with nine, I was able to do that. And here I'm going forward, doing this all the way to the top. And as I said, you'll do nine, seven, five, three, and then one on top. Okay, so now you want your paper piercer, which is the easiest way I found of doing this. Want to just go ahead and start in the middle as I'm doing here, and then start putting your treat through it. That's why we didn't lay down the legs because the little legs is what's going to go through the cork boards into those into that frame, and then that's what we're going to do all the way across the twin the five rows, uh, starting with the nine, then the seven, then the five, then the three, and then ending up at the one. And the reason I like to do this is because that way you have a little bit of a chance to kind of move things around. So here I'm just putting the second to the last, and then my last one's going to go on top, as you're seeing me do here. And I like to, as you see, when I puncture it, and then I kind of wiggle it around to kind of create a little bit of a bigger hole. Okay, so with that, you're done. Let me show you really quick a side view of it. And that's all your treats on there. As I mentioned, I only put a four inch strip of ribbon originally was because I didn't want to get <laughs> not, you know, to be corny about this, but I didn't want to get boxed in. So I wanted it to be a little whimsical. I didn't want a straight line to kind of be my eye. I just instead wanted the branches to flow. So now I'm going in and putting in the rest of the brand or the rest of the trunk. You're more than welcome to do this at the beginning. I, this is just the way I feel it's worked for me. So I just wanted to share it with you. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put those, I, the treat um, that I took out, all the middle ones back in. Same exact way that we've been doing them. Um, you know, just kind of use your paper piercer, create a hole, and put them back in. Okay, and you're going to do this for all of them till you end up on the top again. And that pretty much is your tree, but I thought it would be kind of fun to add a little bit more of a, a whimsical decoration to it. And there's nothing that cries out Christmas tree more than uh, tinsel. So I went ahead and added a little strip of that. And I'm just starting on one end, kind of tucking it in um, underneath the little holders there. And just going to kind of go back and forth till we get to the top. And actually, after I finished this, it was kind of nice because it, it added a little bit of a line, giving you that shape of a tree even more so without being intrusive and not overpowering the holders so that they still stay um, the center focus of your tree. And what's great with this advent calendar is once the treats are gone, you can always just kind of put back the little holder without a treat and you still have that tree shape and be able to display it throughout Christmas. So with that, you're pretty much done. I hope you have fun making these and thank you so much for joining me. As always, feel free to check out my blog and drop me a note in case you have any comments or questions. Thanks. Bye.